In the previous video, we begun to lay our spreadsheets out for the purpose of printing. Um, and as promised, I've uh, populated this sheet with some information just to skip forward and to prevent this turning into a, a 15 minute tutorial for an incredibly easy uh, job. So let's get zoomed in here so uh, we can see what you're doing. Um, so, um, as you can see, we brought a logo in, we put some information, uh, your company information going up here. Uh, the, the, the demonstration we're using here is a business form being an invoice, as you can see. Um, here's a quick tip. Uh, the date is going in here. Um, in Excel, uh, here's an incredibly useful tip for you if you're not aware of this one. On your, on your keyboard, holding control and press semicolon uh, will insert today's date. No matter where you are on a spreadsheet, um, let's just do the same over here. Uh, control semicolon will enter today's date. So that's incredibly useful. Um, and of course, uh, something that you will generally have to do quite often when working with spreadsheets. Okay, here we are. Um, I've put some uh, some mock details of what's going in here. Obviously, as we mentioned, the uh, the customer's name and address going into this window, this area here, uh, meaning that you can use uh, um, one of these envelopes with the, the windows in them. Okay, um, let's just put some, uh, some random entries in here. Let's uh, say the blue thing is, uh, we want one of those, um, and we want the total to go in here. We'll deal with the VAT later. Um, so all we've done in order to create these cells is use the merge across uh, command or button. Okay, I'm just going to tidy this up quickly. Uh, let's call this, uh, let's switch this to currency. Uh, okay, so we want, uh, there's the line value and there's one of them. Let's change that to two. So we want uh, two times 265 to appear in this cell here. Uh, simple calculation that we covered in a previous video. Uh, start by typing equals in the cell that you want the answer to, to go into. Then we click into the cell um, and then we want to put in the, the multiply sign, which is an asterisk. Uh, then click the quantity. Uh, then hit enter on the keyboard and that's doing the work for us. Uh, populate the rest of the cells. It's going to apply all the way down. Uh, there's the handle there when we get the black cross. Uh, down it goes. Uh, these will all fill with pound signs at the moment, as we can see. Uh, we can clear those up very easily in one click later. Uh, let's put some other entries in here. Um, so we're just going to populate this with uh, some random things here. Um, okay, £7.95, 5 and these can be £7 pounds 55 okay uh, some random entries in there we've done the calculation already so as uh, as the quantities go in there we say one of those uh, and it goes we want three of those and as we click away it does the uh, the calculations for us um, and once we've finished with that I'll just uh, do the rest of them here once we're finished with that we want to tidy the rest in one click uh, we just take these cells here, right click, clear contents, and those uh, pound signs are gone. Um, so what we want here is the total, line total going in here. We can use auto sum for this feature. Um, I've selected the cell. We've covered this in a previous video. Uh, these can be quite tricky sometimes when you hit auto sum. Uh, they can be tr quite tricky to catch the corner. Uh, so here's a little tip, move it away. Uh, then you can resize it easier. Um, so we'll just do that again. There's my quick tip, which didn't work. Uh, so we're just going to move it away first of all. Um, and usually it's uh, easier to resize once we've done that. So there we are. We just want to select the, the entire section that we want uh, calculated here. Uh, hit enter on the keyboard. There is our total. Um, shipping, let's put in Let's be generous here, £4.95 for shipping. Um, so total X VAT, we want that plus that. Um, so in goes there, let's use auto sum for that. We just uh, select the two cells that it's to add up. Enter, done, that's our total. Um, if, uh, if VAT is to be applied, then simple multiplication uh, involved here. 
So that's where we want the uh, the total to appear. We'll do the VAT amount afterwards once we've calculated this. So to get the uh, the total, there are various formulas. Um, here is one that works. We uh, we collect we click the cell uh, that we want the answer to go into. The answer being ninety eight pounds thirty three plus twenty percent. So the uh, the result is going to go into this cell here. Uh, we click into that. We're going to go for equals. Uh, then I select the cell that has to be calculated. Then I carry on typing with the formula. Uh, so it's going to be multiply in brackets. We'll go with one plus. 20%, so that's an unsigned, uh, 20%, close the brackets, which will close the formula, and uh, there we have it, so £118, so £98.33 uh, plus 20%, uh, total comes to £118 exactly, we want to deduct, um, we want to subtract 98.33 from 118 uh, to give us the VAT amount that is applicable, uh, straight subtraction, uh, click into the cell we want the answer, this is going to be equals to that, then we tip, uh, type minus that, hit enter on the keyboard and £19.67 is applicable in this particular instance. Uh, so down the bottom we've got some footer information and we're going to take a look, so this is the reason for using Excel, there's some borders need to be tidied up here. Um, this is the reason for using Excel. It can do calculations for you. It can increase your uh, the speed of your workflow um, and uh, get the uh, the job done a little bit quicker. Uh, if we go for view and page layout here, uh, we can see how this is going to sit on the sheet. And of course, uh, spend some time tidying this up and uh, making it look nice. Um, uh, quick tip though, invoices and generally business forms um, usually have to be printed, so if you're emailing these to a customer, uh, try and avoid using too much uh, background colour. What I mean by that is try and avoid using, um, you know, colouring in unnecessarily uh, backgrounds such as, I'm just, uh, wrong one, uh, such as uh, like a nice blue background for this section here. Uh, and try and avoid that because if these have to be printed, you will... Um, is the best way of putting this, you will annoy your customers if they have to use an entire ink cartridge every time they have to print your invoices out. Uh, so these kind of tips always to bear in mind, so try and avoid um, using too much in the way of background unnecessary um, colour. Okay, so there we are, nice and straightforward. We've uh, we've used Excel for the purpose of printing, in this case, uh, an invoice that we've laid out with some calculations going on in there as well. Uh, you can, of course, go for Save As. Uh, once you do that, you can uh, select PDF from the uh, the drop-down menu there. Uh, this is going to save your uh, your document as a PDF file, which is now ready to be emailed away uh, to a customer, or of course you can print from there as well. That's all for now. This entire video range available on our YouTube channel, Search Computron, and uh, there's a playlist called Get More Out of Your PC. Thanks for watching.